Good morning, everybody. Frank C. here, SpotOnSportsPicks.com. How's everybody doing this uh, Sunday, January 5th? Um, seems like a great day. We're finally back home, relaxing, back in upstate New York. Had a nice week of uh, fun and partying with friends down in Florida. Uh, went to that game on, on Wednesday. Had a great time. Uh, plus, we made a few dollars, too. Um, and... Uh, and we're doing pretty well. Uh, we had a nice day yesterday, even though on the video I gave out uh, Houston an over. The over didn't come out. Houston covered the two and a half point spread. Uh, had a chance. If they scored a touchdown in overtime, the game would have went over. But that wasn't meant to be. But we still had Houston. And the second game, we were on the VIP side, we were all over uh, the, New the uh, Tennessee and under in the second game. Uh, I love Tennessee yesterday. Um, I think we saw the last of uh, Tom Brady, which tremendous 20-year career. But um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But um, I think it's I th think Tennessee might uh, do a little damage in these playoffs. You never know. But anyways, um, we have two games today I'd like to look at. Uh, actually, one game today. We have two games today, though. The first game is going to be Minnesota. Uh, Vikings versus the New Orleans Saints in New Orleans. I believe New Orleans is an eight-point favorite in that contest. Um, and uh, the one I like to look at is the Seahawks versus the Eagles. The second game starts at 440 Eastern. Um, the Seahawks versus the Eagles in Philadelphia. Uh, this game kind of interesting. Seattle opened up as road favorite, minus a point and a half. Now it flip-flopped to the Eagles being a point favorite. Uh, some places it's a pick. It's probably going to end up around the pick area, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, maybe a little buyback. But um, this is just a two, basically. Even the records don't show it. But with the home field advantage, I think this is a two basically even, evenly matched teams. Uh, the Seahawks were the wild card at 11-5. and five. They did have a great year, but they ended this the end of the year um, with a couple of losses. And uh, that's what made them uh, have to have to do the wild card instead of uh, winning the division uh, with, the, with that loss to uh, San Francisco. And um, the Eagles were on a winning streak. They had to be. They had to win every game to uh, clinch the NFC East. So uh, the Eagles are nine and seven, and the Seahawks are eleven and five. Against the spread, they're pretty much evenly. Uh, the Seahawks were seven and seven against the spread. Um, and the Eagles were seven and nine. The Seahawks had a couple of ties in there, and um, but I do know this year Seattle is a lot better on the road. They played a lot better on the road than they did at home. Um, so uh, they they give up. They they score. Seattle scores about twenty five points per game, and they give up about twenty four. So uh, the Eagles are right around the same thing. They they score about twenty four points a game. They give up about 22, maybe a little bit better on defense. But I know both teams were really injured, uh, had a lot of injuries. I mean, um, I mean, Seattle had to get Marshawn Lynch back because they had no running backs. So he didn't play that bad last week either. He um, scored a touchdown. Um, I think he had like 34, yard, 34 yards rushing. Um, but um, they want him for, you know, down at the goal line or getting a first down, you know, fourth and third and one or something like that. That's what he's there for. Um, the Eagles, something that's very interesting here. The Eagles are going to get a lot of their offensive weapons back. That's why I, in this game, and I like the flip-flop of the favorites, I'm going to take the Philadelphia Eagles in this game. Um, Zach Ertz might be back. Uh, the running back, Miles Sanders, was back last week against the Giants. Um, Deshaun Jackson could return today. These are offensive weapons that Carson Wentz can really need. And they're home. I think that place in Philly is going to be jamming. Um, you know, I know Seattle's been a better road road team this year. And, of course, there's always Russell Wilson. You have to be afraid of Russell Wilson. But I just I like Philadelphia in this spot. I know it's a tough spot, and this is like a coin flip. But I'm going with the Eagles here. And I also like the over. I think this game is going to, they're going to score some points in this game. Um, maybe not a parlay, maybe a couple of single out bets if that's what you're looking at. I like the Eagles better though, so I'm going to say the Eagles on the video here is my my payout. Um, 
or my play on the video. I'm sorry. So, again, Frank C., SpotOnSportsPicks.com. Uh, we had a great week. We're back home. We're back um, getting into all these games, basketball, college basketball. We're going to get into further. Uh, starting the new year fresh. We started it with some victories. It's all about cashing them tickets. We know that, right? Cashing tickets It's what it's all about. Right, Brett Musburger? He always says that. And, um, and of course, we, we woke up today after a long week. And uh, we always have to give thanks. Today's a beautiful day. Go see some loved ones haven't seen in a while, and um, and gonna be uh, gonna be watching the football games all afternoon. So um, I hope everybody had a great weekend, a great New Year's. Uh, we got to start off fresh, and um, we're trying to pick your winners. So again, spotonsportspicks.com. We have uh, our VIP specials out on the website. You know, we still have that contest with the TV. We haven't. We need subscribers on YouTube. We want to be able to give a TV away, but we need subscribers. We need people to subscribe. So if you can share us, um, if you can get us out there and help us out, subscribe us on YouTube, on our channel. We're also on Facebook, uh, Twitter. Leave some comments. We'd like to hear you guys' comments. Maybe you're playing with us. Maybe you're playing against us. Um, you know, maybe you just, you know, want to say hi. <laughs> Anyways, uh... Again, Frank C. here. I hope everybody has a great day. And uh, please, the Philadelphia Eagles. Goodbye, bit.